Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, EKG. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, how did the thermometer start? It's something we use without much thought, whether checking for a fever or monitoring the weather. But the thermometer has a long and fascinating history, shaped by brilliant minds striving to measure something once thought to be immeasurable, temperature. From ancient theories to Galileo's early designs, and from mercury-filled glass tubes to the digital sensors of today, the evolution of the thermometer is a story of science, precision, and necessity. Let's dive into its journey through time, right here on History of Simple Things. The origins of temperature measurement can be traced back to the works of ancient Greek philosophers, Around 300 BC, the great Aristotle and his contemporaries pondered the nature of heat and cold, but they lacked the means to quantify these sensations. The first rudimentary attempt at measuring temperature appeared in the 2nd century AD with Hero of Alexandria, who experimented with the expansion and contraction of air in a closed vessel. Yet it would take over a thousand years before this concept evolved into a practical instrument. The Renaissance, a period of scientific rebirth, set the stage for the first true temperature measuring devices. It was in the late 16th century that Galileo Galilei, the famed Italian polymath, devised a device that could be considered the forerunner to the thermometer. Galileo's thermoscope consisted of a glass tube with a bulb at one end, filled with air and submerged in water. As the air inside expanded or contracted due to temperature changes, the water level in the tube fluctuated. However, this early design had a major flaw. It was influenced by air pressure as much as by temperature, making it unreliable. Nevertheless, Galileo's concept sparked further experimentation, and soon other scientists sought to refine the instrument. One of the key breakthroughs came in the early 17th century with the efforts of Santorio Santorio, an Italian physician and contemporary of Galileo. Santorio was the first to place a numerical scale on the thermoscope, transforming it into a more useful medical tool. While still crude by modern standards, this early thermometer provided doctors with a means to assess fevers with some level of consistency. The quest for more precise and practical thermometers, however, continued. It was not until the 18th century that the thermometer took on the form we recognize today. Gabriel Fahrenheit, a German physicist and glassblower, made significant advancements in thermometer design. In 1714, he created the first mercury and glass thermometer, which was far more reliable than its predecessors. Mercury's uniform expansion rate and resistance to evaporation made it an ideal substance for temperature measurement. Fahrenheit also introduced a standardized temperature scale with 32 degrees as the freezing point of water and 212 degrees as its boiling point. His scale became widely adopted, particularly in English-speaking countries, and remains in use in the United States today. While Fahrenheit's mercury thermometer was a triumph, other scientists sought alternative temperature scales that better suited scientific applications. In 1742, the Swedish astronomer Anders Celsius devised a competing system, setting the freezing point of water at zero degrees and its boiling point at 100 degrees. This centigrade scale, later renamed the Celsius scale, gained popularity in much of Europe and the scientific community. Around the same time, the French scientist René Antoine Ferchot de Réaumur and the Scottish physicist William Thompson, later known as Lord Kelvin, introduced their own scales, each aiming to refine temperature measurement further. Kelvin's scale, in particular, became crucial in physics, establishing absolute zero, the lowest possible temperature, at zero Kelvin, equivalent to minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. As the centuries progressed, thermometry continued to evolve. The 19th century saw further refinement of thermometers, 
With advancements in materials and calibration techniques, mercury remained the standard liquid for thermometers due to its stability, but it had limitations. It could not measure extremely low temperatures and posed a toxicity risk if broken. The search for safer and more versatile alternatives led to the development of alcohol-based thermometers, which could measure lower temperatures due to alcohol's lower freezing point. Additionally, sealed glass designs became more common, reducing contamination risks and improving durability for everyday use. The 20th century ushered in a new era of thermometry with the advent of electronic sensors. The introduction of resistance temperature detectors, RTDs, and thermocouples revolutionized industrial and scientific applications, allowing for precise and rapid temperature measurements in extreme conditions. Infrared thermometers, which detect heat radiation, became particularly valuable in fields such as medicine, engineering, and space exploration. These devices eliminated the need for direct contact, enabling temperature readings from a safe distance, a feature that became especially critical in the 21st century during global health crises. In modern times, thermometry has reached new heights of accuracy and accessibility. Digital thermometers, utilizing microprocessors and advanced sensors, provide instant and highly precise readings. The development of smart thermometers, which connect to smartphones and other digital devices, allows for real-time temperature tracking and data analysis. Infrared imaging, once reserved for industrial and military use, has become a household technology used in everything from baby monitors to thermal cameras for home inspections. The thermometer, once a simple glass tube, has transformed into a sophisticated instrument embedded in our daily lives. From Galileo's thermoscope to the digital sensors of today, the thermometer has undergone centuries of refinement, each step driven by the need for more accurate and reliable temperature measurement. It has shaped medicine, industry, meteorology, and even space exploration, playing a crucial role in our understanding of the world. As technology continues to evolve, the thermometer will undoubtedly advance further, refining our ability to measure and control temperature with unprecedented precision. Yet at its core, it remains a testament to human ingenuity, an instrument born from curiosity, perfected by science, and indispensable to the modern world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.